But you got to realize these were radical days. People were demonstrating, protesting the war. There was riots. There were Hell's Angels, Black Panthers, hippies, all down on Sunset Boulevard. So to take the cross in the midst of them was more to me a obedience, like you get down there with the radicals and wake them up. It was 1968 and I was ministering on Sunset Strip in Hollywood and opened a Jesus coffee house and I felt the Lord wanted me to put a big cross on the wall. Uh, I never dreamed I would carry it or I wouldn't have made it so big. Then over the next months I carried the cross down Sunset Boulevard as we would share Christ, sometime give out food, never dreaming that I would be living my life with the cross as my companion for the next 40 years. But Jesus then called me in 1969 to leave Christmas Day and start walking with the cross across America and then around the world. And I've now walked through 315 nations, island groups, and territories. Every sovereign nation every major island group in the world have been arrested 24 times, uh, have been taken out before a firing squad to be shot, have been in 52 countries at war, jungles, deserts, and Jesus has been there every step. I have seen literally the impossible become possible. The sovereign work of God because he determined that the cross would be carried in every nation and he chose me to walk on that mission. And it has been the greatest, most awesome adventure in the world. Yeah! The message of the cross is for people to fall at the foot of the cross and find life or pick up your cross and follow Jesus and fulfill his destiny for your life.